Hi, this is Aaron for BandLab, and in this video we're going to make a Martin Garrix style drop in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with a link in the video description, and if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 128 BPM and adding a virtual instrument track, which I set to keyboards, piano, lo-fi, piano. I'm going to use this sound to create the chord progression that the track will be based around. This plays a D minor, a C major, G major, A sharp major, F major, and G major. I turn this track down to negative 6.5 dB to give me headroom to add other sounds. Then set the project key to D minor so when I add musical loops from BandLab's sample library, they'll be automatically re-pitched to the correct key. Next I'm going to compose a drum part so I create a new virtual instrument track and set this to drums, drum pads, EDM kit. First I put kicks on every beat. Then I add a snare and clap on the second and fourth beats. Then I add closed hats on every other eighth note. I then duplicate this out for the rest of the clip. You can duplicate notes and clips by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and dragging them over. I'm going to use a loop from BandLab's sample library to give this drum beat more character. I click the Samples button to open the library, then enter EDM into the text search field. EDM Mega Pack Volume 1 looks like a good place to start, so I open it, then set the instrument's filter to Beats. Kick switch is the kind of sound I'm looking for, so I drag it into the project. To balance the drum tracks, I set the EDM kit to negative 10 dB and the kick switch track to negative 2.5 dB. The EDM kick track has a low rumble on the kick that's more than I need and might interfere with the bass line when I add it. So in the effects section, I add a tone multi filter and set its mode to high pass and its frequency to 100 Hz. I'm going to want to step the beat up after the drop, so I search for a high end loop to complement the existing drums. EDM Top Loop Hat Snare 2 fits the bill, and I turn this track down to negative 4.5 dB. Next, I want to add a bass line. I make a new track and set its instrument to Basses, Synth Basses, Sign Bass. To make the MIDI for this part, I copy the chord MIDI over and delete everything except for the root notes. Then, selecting the remaining notes, I click the negative 12 button three times to pitch the bass line down three octaves. You'll notice the low G only moves down two octaves because otherwise it would go off the bottom of the MIDI editor. Likewise, the A sharp is too low to be played by the bass instrument, so I select it and click the plus 12 button to move it up an octave. I take this track level down to negative 4.5 dB to balance it with the rest of the elements. I 
I'd like a lead part to kick in on the drop, and for this, again, I'm going to use BandLab's sample library. I set the instruments filter to synth and drag Snow Dancer lead into the project. This is automatically pitch shifted to fit the key of the project, but I'm not really feeling the second half of the loop. So I use the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the clip to truncate it to two bars in length, then use the loop handle at the top right hand corner of the clip to drag it out for four bars in length. I'd like to make this part's volume level more consistent, so in the effects section, I add a Dynamics BL1176 effect. This has the effect I desire, but now the loop is a bit too loud, so I turn down its volume to negative 6 dB. I'd like some vocals too, and Snow Dancer Vocal 2 is a great fit. I drag it into the project, again add a BL1176 effect, and set the track's volume to negative 9 dB. Now it's time to make a rough arrangement for the drop. I start with the piano and vocal, then the beats, bass, and lead come in. And 8 bars later, the top layer of the beat is added. However, with this simple arrangement, the drop really doesn't have too much impact, so I'm going to need to put some more work into it. First, I add another virtual instrument track and set this to strings, violin section. This plays a sustained D6 during the breakdown section, and I automate its volume level to go from negative 12.5 dB on bar 5 to negative infinity dB on bar 9. Next, I want impact and riser effects. In the sample library, I set the instrument filter to effects and drag Snow Dancer Impact Riser 2 into the project. This sample includes both an impact and a riser, but I want the riser to come before the impact, so I put the playhead halfway through the sample and press S to slice it in half. I then move the riser to before the impact. These elements are positioned so that the impact plays on the drop. I turn the track's volume down to negative 3 dB. I'd like a snare to build up to the drop, so I add another instrument track and select EDM Kit as the instrument. I add snare hits on quarter notes, then eighth notes, then sixteenth notes, leaving an empty beat before the drop. I automate the track's volume to go from negative 14 dB at the start of the buildup to negative 6 dB at the end. I'd like some change to occur in the vocal as well during the buildup, and an easy way to do this is to use an automated filter effect. I add a multi-filter to the vocal track and automate the frequency to drop to 157 Hz at around bar 8, then opening back up before the track drops. I'm still not that quite satisfied with the impact of the drop, and I want to add a crash symbol. In the sample library, I click the loops tab so I can search the entirety of the library and enter crash into the search field. 
Icon crash is good, so I drag it into the drop and slice off the unwanted second crash halfway through the sample. I turn this track down to negative 9 dB, and I'd like this crash to play again when the drum steps up, so I duplicate it over. Here's how the drop sounds in full. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!